Hi Aries, it's Jess of Bahati Life. If you don't know, I'm the creator of Bahati Life Apothecary. Thank you so much for tuning in. This is your reading for the month of April 2020. First things first, um, the few cards that are jumping out for me, for you, are the King of Wands and also the Page of Cups, which is interesting. Um, yeah, this reading for the month of April for you, my love, is going to be, yeah, we have King of King of Wands again and Eight of Swords. This reading for the month of April for you is going to be everything that it is that you need to hear, but I'm also going to break it into your personal life and your love life because I've been getting asked a lot lately, Jess, can you talk, can you dive into the love life, into the heart energy, and the answer is absolutely I can, and thank you for asking. Okay, Aries. So, let's go ahead and dive into this, shall we? Um, Aries, <laughs> the first thing that I'm getting visually from you is a boat. Um, this boat feels like it's rocking. It feels things are... For me, it would make me sick. I'm not a person who likes cruises or boats or anything like that for the most part. Um, I feel like you're kind of like rocking on this boat. It feels like there's a storm, that there was a storm or there is a storm. And you're kind of woozy, but you're not focused on that. I feel like you're focused on, I don't know, I guess the destination or wherever it is that you want to go. Wow. Aries, you have Eight of Swords showing up again. You have Eight of Cups showing up again and Four of Pentacles. This brings me right back to what I was just saying. It feels as though, let me go ahead and show these cards to you. It feels as though things could be a little weird and wonky, but you're not getting off of the boat just yet. Um, but I'm, I got, I, I felt a person who was pensive. I felt a person who, I don't want to say is agitated, but they don't like they're they're kind of uncomfortable with where they're at. We have um, King of Wands showing up again, only this card was reversed. Queen of Cups reversed, and Nine of, I'm sorry, the Hermit card reversed. I feel like you've kind of been stuck in a space, Aries. You're normally a, an energy that likes to get out and about, likes to do things. At the time that I'm filming this, energy has been very, I don't want to say repressed, but it's been very still. It's It's been very here in the moment, not moving. Most of us have been in kind of um, hunkering down because of things that are going on in the world at the moment. Um, then we have, everyone's getting the same card with the higher font reversed, page of cups, and the knight of cups. There's this energy that wants to get out. There's this energy that is restless, um, that is ready to jump ship almost. Then we have, wow, Aries, um, Nine of Swords reversed again, Three of Wands, and the Page of Wands. So I'll go ahead and dive into that in a, min in a minute. The center reading, yes, again, this is that passion, that excitement, that enthusiasm, but also a wearing down. You're wearing me down. You're wearing me down. In fact, I'm almost hearing someone say, that you're, you're wearing me down, Jess. Um, my name is Jess, if you guys don't know, so... Um, I don't know if my readings is wearing you down, you guys. <laughs> um, I'm actually getting a, a really a breakthrough, which, see, there we go. The World card and the Queen of Wands and also the Temperance card. So Aries, for the month of April, I, I was getting a sense that you're, you were, in the beginning of the month of April, you're on this boat that's kind of rocking, and it's in the middle of no... I don't want to say in the middle of nowhere, but you can't just jump ship, so to speak. You almost have to kind of embrace the current status, the current status quo. However, that's what's kind of bothering you is the fact that you have a lot of ideas, a lot of enthusiasm. You're almost getting sick to your stomach with just being still and stagnant. You want to put yourself out there. But time, there's this space of respecting time. There's this um, element of the word is transgression. I don't know why that is the word that came through, but moving from, let me go ahead and look up this word for you. Basically, for those of you guys that don't know, when I do readings, it, it'll come through for me in a word. 
or a message will come through for me in a word. Is that even a word? And yours is, yeah. Let's see if this works. Yeah, an act that goes against a law, rule, or code of conduct, an offense. Interesting that that's your word. Um, yeah, something that goes against a common, whether you are cheating on a test or something, it can be a failure to do your duty. Yeah, I don't know. That's that's what I'm. That's kind of what it is. I'm getting it. Feel maybe you're stuck in a space right now where that was the word. So maybe you're stuck in a space where you were stuck in a space at the beginning of April or saying good, um, good, you know, March. So saying leaving March in the dust, so to speak, and moving into April. Maybe there's some transgressions, some things that you didn't really like. Um, how they came through, how they happened, and that's what's making you queasy, that's what's making you uncomfortable. I'm almost getting a sense that if, this almost reminds me of the Virgo reading, where Virgos were feeling like I would have, like, they, the word is, I would have done it differently. Like, I would, if, 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 it was, if it was my way, I would have done it this way, things would have happened this way. I'm getting a sense of being too much boxed in, I'm getting a sense of being too much locked in, and I, I feel like you need to get out. You you want to have excitement. You want to have life again, activity, um, putting yourself out there, connecting with others. Um, you're, you're finding this new mix, this new balance. And literally, it came from being without being able to do that, um, being kind of locked in, kind of holed up. And now you're like, okay, well, this is something that is new, important to me, newly important to me. We, sometimes Aries, we, we spend a lot of time um, active and moving that when we're st that when we're still or we don't give ourselves the space to still ourselves so that we can gain clarity into you know what we really want, what's important to us. And when it's quiet or when something is taken from us, then the universe, then spirit, the divine says, pay attention to this, make this a priority. Aries, this is ultimately what is I'm seeing for you is all of this time that you've taken in quiet, in this quiet space, in isolation, in introversion, in, you know, moving internally, moving and maybe not even because I'm emphasis on moving internally because I'm getting a sense that you almost were forced to be sit to sit still. Um, that has gained that has given you a lot of clarity into who you are, what you want, what's important to you, your relationships, um, and then also what you're going to do, how you're going to do things differently moving forward. At the same time, Aries, I feel like when you branch out you're going to have a lot of nervous energy. In the month of April, I don't see a total release of this. I feel as though, Aries, you're, you're going to be called almost to kind of sit with your feelings, to sit with your intuition, to sit with some um, emotions that might be difficult for you to be. Yeah, look. Look, literally, 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 just what I was about to say. The anchor is you're not going anywhere. Spirit wants you here now in this moment, whatever that looks like. Why? Because there's more to your emotions. There's more to these feelings. The moon card in the tarot deck is different than the moon card within the Lenormand. The moon card within the Lenormand is truly about emotions and intuition and your feelings, but they're very deep. They're very, very deep feelings. And Spirit says, before you can move forward, before you can progress, we have to kind of help you to go through it all. And that includes, I don't know why, but again, it's transgressions. Things that it is that you feel like maybe you shouldn't have done. Things that have been hidden. Things that are you might be, I don't say embarrassed about, but things that you're kind of pushed off to the side, things that you don't want to take care of, that you need to take care of. The spirit is truly slowing you down and says, make it work. Take care of this now before it becomes a bigger problem. Um, Aries, there's a sense of maturity for the month of April that you are going to have to have. I'm not saying that you're not a mature sign because that's not the case. It's just sometimes it's easy for you to run than it is for you to address certain things. If something is a problem, you will bolt. I'm almost getting that sense of, I'm gonna bolt out of here. And Spirit says, there's just, we're not, we're simply not going to allow it. We will not 
with the four of pentacles here in the near future and for your future and what it is that you're walking into an eight of cups and eight of swords spirit says we are going to keep you here until you learn the lesson until you learn until you embrace these feelings until you step into these feelings this doesn't have to be a negative thing or something that feels bad or difficult it's just kind of embracing you know um things that are it's it's like almost like a concept it's almost like a uh, something that isn't a tangible it's for you Aries sometimes you're very physical like you very you're very much you know it sparked my eye it sparked my attention I was excited I felt it I went with it and in this case spirit is saying in this moment we don't want you to just jump on the first thing that sparks your attention even though that's your nature we want you to to root yourself to ground yourself to be anchored here whether you like it or not see we're back on that boat back on that boat and um really embrace it um submit yourself to it submerge yourself in it those feelings um instead of rushing out of it racing out of it the root of this we have two of the cups we have two of the the page of cups and the knight of cups both of these cards are very much in connected with their feelings their emotions so this like i said this doesn't necessarily have to be a bad thing aries this could be letting your guard down and being vulnerable with someone expressing yourself making it work not running and racing away from either relationship or moving on to the next thing, but really embracing this and letting your guard down when it comes to being intimate, vulnerable, being creative, instead of being like, oh, well, I'll come back to that. No, spirit says work on this now. Dive into this now. Research this now. Experience this now. The same things that make us the most vulnerable tend to be the things that give us the most value. Um, and that's something that I'm seeing here, Aries, is that there's a space of there's something here present now that has been with you for some time or is here now um, that says don't ignore the don't ignore the value that this thing, this person, this situation that it holds within your life. When I see the Queen of Wands here, I'm getting a sense that it's a person. Um, I'm getting a sense that this is a person who is independent. They don't have to be a fire sign. Sometimes when we see um, the queens um, or court cards, we want to immediately identify it with a um, the um, an element, like one of the signs. And that's simply not the case. In this case, it's energy. The energy of this person is expressing itself in in the way that this person is very outgoing, gre gre gregarious is the word, very vocal, very opinionated, outspoken, energetic. They have a light. They, red they radiate energy um, around them, surrounding them. In Aries, you're going to want to connect with this person and not lose them within your life. You actually want to pour into them. You want to invest in them. You want to connect with them. And I'm getting an invitation. Invite them to something. Reach out to them. It's not Aries. Sometimes the energy can be very much focused on you. But when I see the Hermit card reversed, it's a person who's been spending a lot of time internal or hyper-focused on themselves. It's not selfish, but it was self-focused. And in this case, Spirit is saying, pour into this energy of this person. Let's say this is not an actual person. It could be this idea, this business idea, this concept um, that's been in the ethers and you need to make it a reality. Very ground it pour into it, give to it, build it, make it a solid, make it a solid something. Um, I'm also getting a sense of spiritual connection here. Something about this, the Ace of Wands and the Temperance card in conjunction with the Nine of Swords, the Eight of Swords, the Eight of Cups. These are cards that I get a sense of immediate of when we are discontent, it's because we feel like we're out of alignment and spirit is has takes us as an opportunity to come in and to say, let your guard down, let me in, let in divine intervention because and in, allow for a spiritual connection, allow for a spiritual um, you know, union of things, merge, merging of things in order to give you, to serve you, to, to give you life, to, to help to make the next steps. Um, Aries, you might have been neglecting your spiritual practice. You might have been 
so focused again on active, moving, 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 doing, 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 that you end up prioritizing all of these ideas, all of these things that are moving on the like around you that you are you've been moving away from your spiritual practice, your spiritual routine, and spirit is saying come back Anchor back into your feelings again, explore those feelings, dive into those feelings, do the research on those feelings because there is value here. I'm getting the sense of with the four of um, pentacles, eight of swords, eight of cups, this is internally the sense of, you know what, spiritually I haven't really been f being, I haven't been feeling fulfilled. My work, I've been doing my work, but it hasn't felt like it's given me spiritual um, value. I don't feel like I'm really moving in alignment with my purpose. I'm having a hard time connecting with others on a deeper level. You know, these are things that, you know, um, spirit says, slow down, slow down, take your time with this um, and learn how to make this your new, your newness. M learn how to make this your new normal. Okay, so that's some, that's, I mean, that's pretty much hit the head on the nutshell, Aries. I, I'm just seeing this across the board and all areas of your life, but let's go ahead and talk to you about um, romance and love because I promised you guys that I would. See, Aries, you are always on the go. You're always doing something. You're always getting like sparked by something and running off into it, running out into the distance. You're always, you want to save people. You want to lift them up on your horse. Literally, this is what's happening with the Knight of Wands. This person is on the hero shows up on the horse and just rescues the maiden. A lot of fire energy here, Aries. Yes. So death card showed up just now. King of Cups, C, and the Wheel of Fortune. So Aries, like I was saying, it feels like, um, and again, you have the Eight of Cups showed up at the very base of this reading. So I'm getting a sense that you're, I, I almost feel like you were very tempted that's where this woozy feeling is coming from. The, it, it almost felt like you were trying to get off the ship. You're almost trying to leave something behind or be like, you know what? Fuck this noise. I'm out. <laughs> um, I'm leaving this. I don't want to be here anymore. I've got other things out there. There's better things out there. And spirit is like, listen, the transformation is going to come, but... There's something of value here that we want you to consider it before you bolt out. Um, before you run, before you race, really take the time. The Wheel of Fortune is about karma and fate and destiny, but it's an, a choice that you get to make that is so divinely timed that says before you rush out, before you race out, really connect to how this thing makes you feel. The King of Cups is about deep, deep purpose deep, deep purpose and feelings and emotional fulfillment. It says, I see the value in this and I don't see the value in this, but the way that I found that is by sitting with my feelings and not running and jumping ship. The first vision I had for you, Aries, was you on this boat and it just kind of was shaking up. It kept moving and you want to get off this boat, but you can't and it's making you sick because you're uncomfortable. And spirit says you almost want to embrace the, the, the discomfort and you want to almost brace, brace the nausea, the, the sickness that this is making you feel because it's teaching you something. It's giving you value. Um, that's just a metaphor, but with that, you don't, you want to, decisions that you make moving forward, this transformation that's happening within your life, even with this death card here, she isn't, she's not holding the blade up and going to cut you immediately. She's giving you a chance to decide before you decide. So take this time in the month of April before you just bolt out and leave something completely. Even as I'm looking at this now with the Eight of Cups, he's holding on to her hand. He's holding on to her arms and saying, listen, are you sure you want to do this? Are you sure you want to do this? And spirit, that's what spirit is saying is like, you know what, give it, give it some time. Um, you know, there's this, this energetic energy about you, this fire, this passion about you, which is igniting. It's, it's wonderful, but, um, just be easy right now and really consider where you're at um, and embrace where you're at first 
and move into your feelings, move into your emotions, move into what the value of that, what is valuable in that first before you leap out. Okay? That's why it makes you feel sick, Aries, is because you're like, well, I could leave. Yeah, you could, but if you leave, if you abandon this, if you reject it, if you ignore this, if you don't give it your time and your energy, then the loss it could be really great. And Spirit says, think about it first. With this card, well, hold on. Let me see what else we have here. Yes, see? Hmm. Don't shoot the messenger, Aries. You're probably mad at me. Okay, so it's safe for you to love Aries. This is why I was saying this space of being vulnerable. Like really kind of embracing that vulnerability. The reason why it makes you feel sick is because you have been cracked open. Something cracked you open. Something, you know, in, a, in the best way possible. And instead of running away from this and like being like, it's a loss, or I don't have time for this, or I'm going to allow this to distract me and I'm going to not make this my priority, I'm not going to focus on this person, I'm not going to focus on us or this. Spirit says, mm, keep an open mind, revisit this, literally reconciliation, the card of reconciliation. That means it's really easy sometimes for you to bolt and to jump out, but Spirit says, before you do that, embrace this first. Really sit with this first. Um, something about it's safe for you to love, it just feels like the reason why things can feel a little wonky or wobbly is because they, they hit a chord with you. Sometimes, like, let's say there's an ex or something, and your ex says something that really, like, or your partner, they say something that just makes you feel bad. Like it triggered you. You're like, why would you even say that? Keep an open mind. Instead of being triggered by it, listen. Listen. Why did that trigger you? Why why was that why if it didn't have some truth to it, it wouldn't have hurt. So really kind of examine that instead of racing out and being like, oh, I don't need to be here anymore. True, but if you leave, you would be leaving something of, of really um, incredible value right now and sometimes Aries you have to it's very sometimes it's easy for you to stay action to keep moving then you to sit still and be vulnerable okay okay wow so your cards that just jumped out divine guidance has been everywhere lately dreams I don't that to me I don't feel anything more with this card which is rare for me than just that, just dreams. This is truly, you know, I'm, I'm getting like, like that boat that I was talking about earlier, like you actually, you know, resting out in the sun on the boat and just being like, I can't, I'm not going to jump ship off of this boat because it doesn't seem safe for me to do that. It's safe for me to be here on this boat, feeling vulnerable, feeling uncomfortable, I have, I'm going to just sit here and I'm going to embrace this. I'm going to sit out in the sun. I'm going to wait for this to pass. I'm going to make make my way through this. I'm going to, and also spiritual connection. Spirit will speak to you through your dreams. Your reading is very similar to Virgo's reading. Um, miracles. These things just drop right in, sometimes through your dreams. So if you don't abandon ship, if you don't jump ship and swim to the harbor, you would be surprised what can happen there if you just allow yourself to be open to it forgiveness and also divine guidance this is spiritual like spirit approaching you showing up like a miracle like miraculously in front of your eyes like archangel gabriel archangel raphael archangel michael saying listen hear me don't just jump the ship do differently now if this is triggering you i know it makes you uncomfortable look at this person's face look at this angel's face she's like "Ugh, are you serious i don't need to be here Maybe not, but there's so much to gain from being here now, Aries. Okay, um, now let me go ahead and see what else is coming through because this, to me, Aries, I want to give you a very specific reading, but I have to keep in mind this is a general reading. 
this card is standing out to me. I'm trying to figure out what is this in regards to? Okay. Relationships. Wow. This is not only your relationship with others, but it's your relationship with yourself. It's your relationship with spirit, the divine. You have to trust. You have to trust others. There's, there's an emphasis on trusting others. I feel like people are speaking things to you that are that's going to be irritating you in the month of April. And you don't want to just react to it. You want to learn from it. You want to embrace it and be better because of it. You don't want to doubt. that. That's a thing like... You don't want to doubt other. I'm getting the sense of like others, obviously with relationships, but you don't want to doubt others. You don't want to think that, oh, they're going to hurt me. Um, they don't have my best intentions at heart. Like they don't have goodwill for me. Like I'm so used to people taking advantage of me or doing this or being that. I don't want to sit with my feelings. I don't want to be still. I don't want to um, accept this. I don't want to slow down. And spirits like just can you stop? <laughs> like, just stop and release the doubt, release that resistance and trust and listen to what other people have to say. Cause you have a lot to gain when you give Aries, like when you allow yourself to receive this and if you allow yourself to slow down, you will, all of that energy comes back to you anyways. People will want to love you. People want to support you. People, spirit wants to support you and love you and give to you miracles. But it can't do that if you're constantly running and racing and thinking that you have all the answers or that you're going to do it all by yourself. Or that when the moment it gets uncomfortable, you say, that fuck this, I'm out. Spirit says, slow down. Slow down. Wow, you guys, Aries and Virgo literally have the same cards, pretty much. See, you guys have the same cards. You're being watched by loving eyes. This to me is some, this is relationships. This to me is giving you relationships, but also spirit. Spirit is like, I'm trying to, con I'm trying to deepen your connection with us, with others, with yourself. We're watching you, not in a way that's like creepy or anything like that, but it's just like we want, we're watching you so that we can help you. We're watching you because we care about you. We're watching you because we're looking out for you. That's why we're watching you. So don't get triggered by that and be like, oh, I don't need anyone. Okay. Convince yourself, not others. So Aries, do you see how it's like if you give the energy to yourself, if you pause, if you rest on that boat instead of jump out, like literally the only person that needs to be convinced right now to trust and to surrender and to embrace this moment is you. Everybody else gets it. They're just waiting for you to figure it out. When you do that, you will prepare to be astounded, prepare to be amazed. You will find what you seek if you don't jump ship and just bail. There, I don't know, Aries, well, something about the month of April, is, it feels very triggering to you. It feels like something, um, it's triggers you and makes you be like, okay, I can't. Yes, you can. It's just different. It's just different. That's all. You have more options than you realize. And something about this card says to read the back. It sure is hard to get really angry at someone when you can think of all the reasons you love them. So that's so funny because I feel like some of you guys are like, see, that's just an opportunity for me to leave. That's an opportunity for me to bail because there's so many options out there. It's like, actually, the options are in the, the, the thing, in this one thing. It sure is hard to get really angry at someone when you can think of all the reasons why you love them. So, and, and the universe, in the, at the bottom it says, and you can, meaning like you can think of all the reasons you love them. There's an infinite amount of reasons why you love them. There is value here. So Aries, I hope that that didn't make you too upset. I feel like my Aries people are, y'all gonna, gonna be so mad at me. But, you know, it is what it is. That's what spirit. See, Aries, you feel like you're stuck in the mud. If You feel like you're not going anywhere. But you are. This card, Stuck in the Mud, is literally, it's there to say, 
it seems like you're not going anywhere, but you are because it's where you're headed in your mind. It's where you're headed in your spirit. It's where you're headed in your heart. And if you keep moving, if you keep jumping, if you keep springing from here to there to there to there, you will miss it. You will miss the opportunity. You will miss the blessing. And Aries, being stuck in this moment, being stuck on that boat, it makes you feel sick. It makes you feel uncomfortable. But there's so much to gain from a perspective shift, from a heart opening, from an eye opening moment that's going to happen here. All of your cards are saying the exact same thing. It's goblins. It's you. It's you. It's literally these tiny plaguing things that trigger you and you run off and you race off and that's it. You will come back to life, Aries, but it's in this moment at that wishing well, you put the, you literally put the wish out to the universe. This brings me back to the message of convince yourself, not others. Something about this is like spirit says, I already knew the desires of your heart. I knew what you were going to do. I knew what you wanted to ask for. You just weren't asking for it. And when you did ask for it, you're spending so much time jumping and running and racing and moving on to the next thing that we could never give you the desires of your heart because you're always moving. It's when we give you the desires of your heart in this moment when you feel like you're stuck, that's when everything comes to life, Aries. You are coming to life in the month of April. But it's going to come from a space of, let me just embrace this. So Aries, I hope that that reading makes sense for you. Um, please go ahead and subscribe to my YouTube channel if you haven't already because I post videos every week. I go live every Monday where I do Astro Chat Live, which I do the breakdown of the week ahead and what you can expect in the planets astrologically. And I also post other videos and cool content that I'm sure that you would love and appreciate, especially if you loved and appreciated this one. Until then, I'll see you in my next video. Bye.